Okay, so hello and welcome back. In this video, we will talk about estimating of or approximating sum or difference of numbers. So, of course, you are familiar with addition and subtraction, meaning that, for example, 5,432 plus, for example, 4,787, right? You have, you have essentially this, this sum over here. Or essentially, let's take another example. The, the, um, for example, let's say that you have um, 3,946 plus, for example, um, I don't know, 6,579 plus, for example, 2,050. So yeah, you want essentially, you want to do this, this, this um, addition, right? So the the usual way that you essentially the the the, the usual way that you do the, any sort of addition really is that you would write the numbers essentially in essentially in so first you you would write essentially for example the first number three nine four six and then six five seven nine and then two zero for example five zero. And then you would add essentially all of them together, and you see, you see that essentially this is the this is the ones place value. So over here you would have essentially the ones place value. This is the tens place value. This is the hundreds place value, and this is the thousands place value. So this is, these are the different place values, and you see that essentially in every number, um, essentially the the digit that is related to the ones place value is 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 written in the ones place value column. So there is a column over here. There is another column over here. There is a column over here, and another column over here. So you you just need to make sure that essentially the numbers, the digits are not written in the wrong columns. Otherwise, the the, the outcome is going to be, or essentially the result is going to be wrong. Of course, right. And then once you do this, then you would add, meaning 6 plus 10 is equal to 15. So you have one carryover. 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. 11 plus 5 is equal to 16. Plus 1 is equal to 17. One carryover. 9 plus 5 is equal to 14. Plus 1 is equal to 15. One carryover. And then 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. Plus 2 is equal to 11. Plus 1 is equal to 12 right so then the number for example becomes 12575 okay now this of course takes takes time right and so the answer is for example 12575 right this takes a little bit of time you have to 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 write all of the digits in the right columns and then add every essentially every digit to the next one and so on and so forth carry the carryover to the next column and so on and so forth until you're done with the calculation now but but then you wouldn't you wouldn't you i mean you would not need to do the actual this this actual accurate calculation when you're uh, when you're essentially estimating or approximating for example this sum Meaning that you have around, for example, 3,946 is something around 4,000. This is 6,500. So let's take it as, for example, a, uh, I'm, I'm going to take it as 6,500. And this is around, this is 2,050. So I'm going to take it as a 2,000. And so 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, 6, 6 plus 6 is equal to 12, so that's around 12,500, right? So quickly I can, I can simply approximate. So this is 12,500, and the actual answer is 12,575. So if essentially in some situation this approximation is good enough, so then of course I don't have to... Um, I don't have to essentially do the actual accurate calculation. 
or so one approximation would be 12,500 right and so you saw that essentially I rounded all of these numbers to for example so some of them I rounded to the thousands place value for example this one essentially this one to the thousands place value this one to the thousands place value and this one to the hundreds place value right so this one was rounded to the hundreds place value these two i rounded to the thousands place value why because because this number essentially is is a 3946 it's very close to 4000 so i rounded to the thousands place value this number is a 2050 so 50 is not much so i can just forget about the 50 and then just take the 2000 which means that I approximate I rounded I rounded to the thousands place value. But then this number is six thousand five hundred seventy nine, right? So the five hundred I I mean for for what for the for the application that I have in mind, I still need the five hundred because otherwise if I still for the for this number, if I round it to the thousands place value, I'm going to lose around five hundred seventy nine, around six hundred of the value of the number, right? So I'm going to I rounded this number to the hundreds place value, so the number became essentially sixty five hundred or six thousand five hundred. And then once you round the numbers this way, then you know that essentially six plus six is equal to twelve. Twelve. 12 plus 500 that's 12,500 right now if I were to do this basically even more quickly I would have I would have rounded all of the numbers to the thousands place value so this is a this would be a 4,000 this would be a 7,000 for example and this would be a 2,000 so that's a 11 and uh, 13,000 right so then essentially you can round it this way as well and 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 essentially the way that you round your numbers depends on um, depends on the application so if if you if you are supposed to be very accurate in in your app in your uh, in your approximation um, then of course you have to stay with the with the tens or the hundreds for example if the accuracy is not very important then you can even go all the way up to the thousand for example and you can just keep going if the numbers have ten thousand or a hundred thousand and so on and so forth you can just keep going uh, you can just keep going towards the larger place values of course right so uh, that's one thing so for example as a as an as another example let's say that for example there is a trader and the trader he is to receive money from essentially two sources for example from two different people and the money he is to receive is for example rupees this is rupees uh, 13,569 that's 13,569 rupees and the other one is basically rupees 26,785 right so these these are the two uh, essentially items of these are the two items that he is to receive and this is this is essentially th th these are the these are essentially the amounts that he is to receive and then essentially he is to pay a sum of money to basically to somebody else which is 37000 which is 37000 so of course and and assuming that the trader is in the market and he doesn't he doesn't want to do a a he just he just wants to do a rough calculation to just know that whether the two amounts of money that he's he's to receive is is going to be enough to to pay the debt 
and so that there we have a 13,000 plus 26,000 that's that's so 10 plus 20 is 30 30 and this is 3 plus 6 is 9 so that's a 30 39,000 right so essentially if you add these two these two numbers together that's 13,000 that's rounded to 13,000 and that's 26,000 so that's zero 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 and then nine and thirty nine thousand right so thirty nine thousand is good enough because essentially all that he has to pay is thirty seven thousand even if you forget about the five hundred sixty nine rupees here and seven hundred eighty five rupees which together would be around thirteen hundred rupees he would be he would he could essentially pay the debt and then still he would have and he would essentially another 2000 rupees would remain here and and there is still another 1300 here that we did not even take into consideration so in total what remains from the from the received amounts would be for example 3300 give or take right so that's essentially how you can calculate in your head without using paper and and doing exact calculations and all of those things you can you can just quickly calculate and say that okay i'm i'm, I'm good to go so I'm, I'm going to go and take the money and then pay the debt over there on the way i'm going to buy for example a couple of breads this and that and then i'm going to go home right so that's that's how you would do how you how you would use approximation or estimation in your head on a essentially in your business in your day-to-day -day life and so on and so forth right so that's that's all about that and and as we essentially um, basically as we discussed before essentially in the case of these numbers so the trader essentially depending on the situation he or she essentially rounds essentially the number in his head to the correct basically to the correct uh, place value meaning that meaning that essentially the trader in this situation suppose that the trader essentially knows that he is to receive for example 13,569 rupees here and 26,785 exact rupees here and exactly is going to pay 37,000 rupees to some other person right so then of course it doesn't make any sense because already you you already know that there you have a 10 and 20 that's 30 and then that's 30,000 and then you have 9,000 there that's 39,000 so that's good enough for the 30 37,000 and whatever you want to buy on the road and on, on the way to home for example a couple of a couple of breads and this and that it's not going to be more than a, a couple of hundred rupees so it's 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 uh, safe to just simply forget about these digits over here meaning rounding to the thousands place value would be good enough right whereas if he if the trader essentially rounds the number to the tens place value then the number essentially this number becomes 13,570 and this number becomes 26,790 rounding to the tens place value in each in each case and now you have to you have to actually have a piece of pen and a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil to actually calculate the sum the sum becomes essentially the zero that's a 16 one that's a 12 13 one that's a 9 and 10 one and then there is a four that's a 40,360 rupees here so this calculation without pen and paper it's not easy to do in your head right <coughs> excuse me and then you have to essentially then you would have to to get to subtract from 40,360 that's 37,000 then you know that 3,300 3,000 uh, 3,360 would remain 
So then again, the 360 is just not, 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 not important in this case. And of course, the 3000 that remains is way too large, right? So I could have simply forgotten about all of this, this business of calculation over here. I could have simply said that, so I have 13,000 over here plus 26,000, which is 39,000. 39,000 is good enough for the 37,000, so I'm, I'm, I'm good enough, so I'm going to just go and do whatever needs to be done, right? So depending on, depending on the situation, then you, 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 you automatically know that, for example, you have to round your numbers to the hundreds place value, to the thousands place value, to the thou ten, th ten thousands place value, and so on and so forth, okay? Now, let's take a couple of examples here, and a couple, uh, essentially, examples in the form of exercises. So let's say that you have, for example, you want to estimate, so if you want to estimate 5,290 and 17,980, okay? And you see that, essentially, um, Essentially, these numbers five thousand two hundred is 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 very close to five thousand, right? And seventeen thousand nine hundred eight is very close to essentially eighteen thousand. So you saw that essentially both of these numbers, I rounded them to the to the thousands place value, right? Whereas if I for example, if I rounded this number to, um, I don't know, maybe for example, if I rounded this number to the, to the hundreds place value, that would be essentially 5,300, right? And then this number to the hundreds place value, that would be essentially a 17, so that's a, a essentially again an 18,000 because, because essentially 17,986 rounded to the to the hundreds place value you would have to round up because you have an eight over here rounding up nine plus one becomes a ten essentially right so this becomes essentially a ten so then the one goes you have you have one carryover so then the seven becomes an eight so you, you would have essentially an eighteen thousand right so uh, then, and then basically now 18,000 plus 5,300 5, would be essentially 2,300, 23,000, for example, 300, right? So that would be that. But then if you, if you rounded both of these numbers to the thousands place value, meaning essentially an 18,000 plus a 6,000, that would be, um, that would be, excuse me, an 18,000 plus a 5,000, that would be essentially 20, 23,000, right? So then essentially 23,000 is very close to 23,300. So that 300 does not have much value essentially here, right? So meaning that essentially in this case, you, you just in, in essentially an, another way that you can think about this, is that you can just take your numbers essentially for example you see that 5290 is less than 17986 right meaning that 17986 is greater than the other number so you go for the for the for the smaller number smaller number of course has the smaller number of digits right and you round that, you take a look at that number and you see that, for example, the last place value in this number is the thousands place value. The thousands place value, so then, so then you round this number to the, to the, to the, to the last place value that it has, meaning 5000. And then the other number, you would round it to the same num, to the same place value, meaning to the thousands place value, which becomes essentially an 18,000. And then you can add both of these together. Adding both of these together, that essentially gives you a 23,000, right? That, that essentially gives you the, 
a closer approximation right if you are if you if if essentially if the if essentially your the 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 accuracy is not very important in your approximation what you can do is that you can um you can for example you can take well still you can take essentially you can round this number to thousands place value which becomes essentially five thousand but then for example then um, you could now in the case of this number it doesn't matter whether you meaning that you could for example you could round to the ten thousands place value which in which case your number becomes essentially twenty thousand and then the and then if you add the two numbers together the, the result is going to be twenty five thousand meaning two thousand difference right depending on the situation then of course you have to choose the essentially you have to decide what you're going to do to what place value you're going to round right now in the case of in the case of basically subtraction it's again the same the same basically the same principle meaning that for example let's say that you have 5673 minus 436 and you want to approximate and so essentially i have 5643 and i have around and i'm subtracting around 400 from that so without any sort of approximation without even any sort of calculation i can i can approximate this as essentially as a 5000 right uh, meaning that 5600 minus a 400 that would be 5200 rounded to 5000 if you want to do it a little bit more systematically i'm go what you can do is that um you can for example round both of the numbers to the thousands place value 5673 rounded to the thousands place value gives you 6000 and then 436 rounded to thousands place value gives you a zero then essentially then the the calculation becomes a six thousand right so and then if you do essentially the calculation five thousand six hundred seventy three minus four hundred thirty six do the calculation you would have essentially a six a thirteen so you have seven here a three here a a two here so the actual answer would be five thousand two hundred thirty seven here we have a 5,000, here we have a 6,000. So depending on what you do, your approximation is going closer or farther away from the actual answer, right? So uh, that's essentially, that's that's essentially the, the gist of basically um, uh, approximating sums and differences of numbers in the in the next video, we will talk about uh, estimating products. So I'll see you in the next video and thank you.